We have worked with parents and a range of professionals from health, education and social care to create a pathway of intervention and support for children who may have developmental difficulties. We've mapped out a pathway of assessment should your child be referred into either community health services or child and adolescent mental health services, CAMS for short, for assessment of possible neurodevelopmental difficulty or disorder. This may be a condition such as autism or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD for short, or a learning disability. However, just because you have been advised to look at this, this page or pathway, it does not necessarily mean that you will go through every step of the pathway or that your child will receive a diagnosis of neurodevelopmental difficulty or disorder. It just means that you'll be able to get the right help at the right time by the right person, professional services to support your child's development and to get family support if you should need it. I will now talk you through the pathway. If you have concerns about your child's development, you can use Neurodevelopmental Pathway to help direct you to the support you need for you and your family as a whole. You will see in the big purple circle with smaller circles around that there is lots of support available and you can look into the drop down menu of this web page to access these aspects of support before you seek advice from a professional like your GP health visitor or your child's nursery and school. For example, if you're concerned about your child's sleep or behaviour or sensory issues, you will find information in the drop down menus by clicking on the relevant sections on this web page. It may be that you're concerned about your child's speech, language and communication or interaction development, or you may want to find out about parenting classes that you can access, or toileting and continence advice, or about mental health services that are available locally. You can find out all the information about the advice and support that's available locally by clicking on the relevant sections of this page. I will now hand you over to my colleague, Dr. Omashakin, who will talk you through the process from referral point. If, after accessing information and support available at this point of the pathway, you still have concerns about your child's development, you may wish to get a referral to a specialist professional in the community paediatric team. These are medical professionals specialising in children's health or to the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service. These are specialists who support children and young people with mental health needs and their families. The best way to seek a referral is through your child's nursery or school. Speak to your child's teacher, special educational needs coordinator or family worker. Or speak to your GP, your health visitor or social worker if you have one. If your child is under 13, the, refer the referral will be considered by the community paediatric team. If your child is 13 or over, it will be considered by CAMS. Once a referral is received by the Community Paediatric Service, or CAMS, the referral will be what is called triaged. This means that a group of professionals will consider the referral information and will decide which would be the best course of action at this point for your child. This way of working can help speed up processes and try and help ensure your child is assessed by the most appropriate professional or service at the right time and may help stop children being passed from one service to another which can again delay your child getting the support they need. It may be that more information is required to make decisions and so whoever referred your child may be asked for this. A lot of work has gone into developing the referral forms so that all the information required is there so that delays are not created by not receiving enough information. This is why it's important that GPs, schools and parents work together to ensure that all the information required goes into the referral. At the triage stage, it may be apparent that your child does not require specialist assessment from the Community Paediatric Service or CAMS. However, there may be other services that could help, and so you will receive information about these. If your child's difficulties appear quite complex, and it's not clear which service will be best to assess their needs, the referral will be considered at a complex case meeting, made up of community paediatrician, an educational psychologist, a clinician from CAMS and a member of the early help team. They will decide which service is best to carry out an assessment and you will be told about this. If neither of these two options described apply, 
Your child's referral will progress to a specialist assessment by CAMS, where they will go through a CAMS pathway to access the most appropriate clinician or part of the service in CAMS or by the community paediatric service. The specialist assessment by the community paediatric team may involve several professionals from different areas. There may be a specialist nurse, a speech and language therapist, a paediatrician, an occupational therapist, a psychologist or another education specialist. The assessment will look at all your child's strengths and weaknesses to provide a full developmental profile. Thinking, learning and functional skills will be assessed. You will be sent more information about what to expect when you receive your appointment. Following your appointment or appointments, there will be an outcome meeting where you can discuss the assessment, next steps or plan the support that is available for your child and for your family. It may be that your child receives a specific diagnosis or diagnoses, and if this is the case, interventions, reviews and discharge plans will be discussed. You will receive information about all the support that's available locally for you and your child. If no specific diagnosis is made, you will be reminded about where to go to get support for your child's development and learning.